Sorry about that folks, just had to switch batteries and here we are in front of these uh, yellow yellow iris and Sandra will continue the, the uh, voiceover. And in the background there we have um, a kind of um, wild flocks. It just sort of arrives in the garden and I let it bloom until it's finished. And here we have a little flower that reseeds itself and it's called Love in the Mist. And so wherever it recedes, it gets to stay. I don't know how much you can hear, but you call that Love in the Love Mist. Love in the Mist. There we go. Oh, look at over here, dear. This is a stand of uh, foxglove or digitalis. It seems to be, according to the nurseries, a very difficult perennial to grow. These have come back um, maybe five years now, and each year they increase in quantity, so I'm quite pleased to have them in the garden. What is and over to the left we have a, a, another David Austin rose, and this one is called Mary, Mary Rose. And um, David Austin describes it as the first rose in your garden to bloom and the last rose to bloom. It will bloom well into December. Terrific. Yeah, we're swinging around to the front uh, front of the garden. Uh, the, the, we usually start here with the southwest corner, but here we are back at the sw southwest corner. And what do we see here, dear? And these are the tallest allium that um, exists. And um, I would say that that ball is about um, four inches across. And um, they again come back every year. And um, this year, where there was one planted, we have two stalks coming up from the from the one bulb that was planted last year. Pansies. Well, is that a nice school we pansy? Have, we have pansy. We have right here uh, a blue wave petunia. Annual. And over in here, just beginning to bloom, we have the new Ito peony. The Ito peony is a cross between the herbaceous peony and the tree peony. And um, they have a quite large flower and they bloom sequentially as opposed to blooming all at once and being finished. Look at this little rose. What is this, dear? This little rose is called Monica. It's a shrub rose and um, it's quite lovely. We have twelve of those bushes in London. This is a little rose called Angel Face, and I'm surprised that it's blooming so early, but it's uh, a favorite of a friend of mine. And these peonies here are the, are the, always the first peonies to bloom in the garden. It's a herbaceous peony called Jules L. And you can see it again over here. I think I'm going to point out this new dawn, Sandra. This is, this is a new dawn climbing rose. And um, it will climb up and over the trellis there. And uh, There are hundreds of buds this year. Oh yeah. This is Elia here. Somehow it survived. And, uh, just starting to finish. It's been quite lovely. Well, I think we're about ready. What do you think? 
Well, that's uh, today's quick tour. Thanks. Uh, stay tuned. The roses are going to be exploding quite uh, shortly. Did you want to show something else, dear? Go quickly then. This is the last roto to be blooming and it's called Nova Zembla. It's called Nova Zembla. And, uh, it's a pretty healthy roto, isn't it? Well, yes, look it at, is. Look at this. It's still in bud stage. Right, and here and there's more to come. You can see that the we have two, two plants here and the one on the south side blooms before the one on the north side because we have north winds coming off the lake. Well, that's the end of the Sunday tour. Uh, just come back. Uh, in about 10 days, the 500 roses should be uh, pretty well in full bloom. And uh, for this Sunday, this is over and out. Bye now.